everybody, Heather here from MoCal Lawn and Landscape. So I'm at a property right now of one of our clients. She's been a long-term client. And for several years, I've been telling her, let's take a look at your landscaping. So when I came out here a couple of months ago, what happened was this beautiful house was covered up by huge overgrown shrubs. And her question to me was, Heather, it's getting pretty cold outside. Shouldn't we just wait till spring to change out the plants and do this wonderful landscape design? And I said, you know what? Fall is actually the best time of year to plant. And the client looked at me just completely shocked because what she's always heard and a lot of other clients as well was that you only plant new uh, perennials and shrubs and trees in the spring. And I would say fall is actually the best time of year. And the reason for that being is we're putting in these beautiful plants. And what happens is in the winter, they don't die or, or get frozen like anybody else would. They actually just go to sleep for the winter. And so if they go to sleep for the winter, they wake up in the spring like nothing ever happened. So you're avoiding any type of drought, you're avoiding any type of root damage, and you're also avoiding any stress to the plant. So come January, what happens is the plants actually just go to sleep. So how many seasons do we have before spring? Well, let's see. We planted them in the fall, then comes winter, then we have spring finally come summer. So they have four seasons to get used to the location that you're planting them in before that hot summer sun comes along and then drought from lack of water. So we have a more established root structure by the time that happens. So we went ahead, we replaced all of the overgrown shrubs that were hiding this beautiful house and we planted, I would say mature plants, but not plants that are fully grown. So what I did was I came in, I planted a beautiful Eastern red bud, which is native to Virginia. Yay for natives. And I went ahead and I planted some Shasta daisies, a lot of compacta hollies, and some little tiny gumpo azaleas. And clients often ask, Heather, why are you choosing to plant compacta hollies instead of boxwoods? Well, what's happening right now is boxwood blight. I know a lot of you have heard of that. And so what MoCal is doing is we're always trying to install plants that are healthy, drought, res drought resistant, and disease resistant. So compactas, which look very, very similar to a boxwood, are the safest way to go right now. So I did install those. Keep in mind that we did install mature plants. I would say they're between just babies and full grown, again, so they can establish. And then we just complemented everything with um, some little tiny perennials. And so she always has something in bloom. If you look over here, it's now November. Her beautiful camellias are filled with pretty pink blooms. So another question that I'm always hearing from clients is, I didn't know MoCal did planting. And that's when I always just smile and wave and say, I am lucky enough to be the landscape designer for MoCal. I really enjoy it. And I actually enjoy even more designing with my clients. We don't necessarily just draw up a design and send that to you. No, I actually schedule probably about an hour and a half to two hour meeting. We sit at your dining room table and we make a design that's both functional budget friendly and that you love. So I make those suggestions at your table. We pop them in using our design software and we just develop a design together, both of us. So I welcome everybody, give me a call. My name is Heather with MoCal Lawn and Landscape and I can't wait to make the front of your house look beautiful. Have a great day.